Hello again viewers and greetings fellow space travelers, this is Thorn of Night, and welcome to episode... Hello? Ow! Episode 6 of 7 Days to Die. And I've got friends. Eh, I'll take it, why not? Anyway, I am back from visiting the farm of the undead and managed to get quite a bit of decent stuff. I have enough food to last me for a little while anyway. And today... One of the things that I wanted to take care of... Let me get rid of this noisemaker here. You are loud, sir. Okay, I have some flowers. Why not? Anyway, one of the things that I wanted to take care of is get a little work done on expanding this out a little bit. Well, out and down. Oh, I missed. You drifted. Either that or I'm a horrible shot. Ooh, I'll take those. Where else? Anyway. Now that I think everything is taken care of, I guess a wave around here or something. Uh-oh. No! In the face. Come on, aim for the head. Go for the eyes. Books. Alright. Now is that everyone? Except the deer? Nope, there's still one here. Okay, now I think that's everyone. Ay, ay, ay. Anyway, um, one of the things that I have planned for this is I want these uh, three rows of spikes. Well, is that three? I don't remember if I made three or four. Hold on, let me count. One, two, three, four. Four! Okay. Well, I'm only going to do three of them, but... Uh, I'm going to start digging around underneath these guys and dropping the the floor down in there so that if there is a wave, they will just fall down in the hole and I'm going to have it reinforced on the bottom. Uh, but in order to get this going, I'm going to have to get underneath it. And the way I'm going to do that is, well, first, I'm going to temporarily just dig a tunnel underneath, come in, let's see here, one, two, three, four, five, six spaces, and then come up. And then I should be able to just plug in the or plug up the outside entrance uh, that way I have access to the underneath now it's going to be a little bit of a long and toilsome project so uh, at least for right now I'm going to just uh, do a bunch of the work off camera and if anything stupendously amazing happens, like something uh, that I feel really worth recording, then I will do so. But for the most part, it's going to be me doing a bunch of digging underground. And then whenever there's a wave coming up and shoring up my defenses a little bit. But the objective here is to make it so I don't have to keep uh, plugging holes and repairing the walls and things. Uh... And I'm also going to 
make the entrance instead of being at the corner here I'm probably going to just make it in one side only and get some uh, scrap metal doors or whatever in place but that's going to be more long term for right now uh, I need to start doing some digging so I need to make sure I've got enough metal and all that so I'm going to get to work on processing the stuff that I have start digging and then I will be right back all right, so something interesting did happen. Uh, I thought I was recording, but apparently I did not hit the right key for that. Oops. Um, a supply drop came through, and the supply drops, I think, come through every 12 hours, I want to say. Yeah, it's got to be 12 hours. But anyway, uh, I have some new loot. They dropped the supply crates, and I was able to go get both of them. Uh, they ended up, let's see here, one was right about here, and then the other one was over this way, sort of close enough to each other. I saw where both of them came down, uh, and this one I was able to get to just after it landed but thankfully because of something in the programming uh you can see the crate off in the distance if there's uh still one nearby so i was able to just uh focus on it and uh there you go it it didn't really take too terribly long to get to it um but it was totally worth the effort uh i got almost two stacks of these rebar frames and let's see here oh right I got a book let's see here this is home maintenance what's it say how to make repair repairing structures okay one new recipe all right I did get plenty of antibiotics if I get infected, it's okay. I got some more rations. Eh. Uh, I thought I got coffee. Maybe I was seeing the clay and thought it was coffee. But anyway, um, I've made a little bit of progress here. Let's get down this way. Not much, just some. Just going under the outermost three, and then I will uh, reinforce the 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 inside one farther down with probably I don't know concrete or something. I'll figure it out. But uh, basically, I'm going to be just digging this trough underneath, and then I will probably go down. I don't know twenty. That sounds good. 20 down. And then from there, I will be able to, uh, by way of a little access shaft I'm going to put here, I'll have access to the lower part. And the way I will be getting out, um, aside from the, the main door over there, is it over there? Yeah, over there, I will be having an escape tunnel probably going down to the river area because uh, this is a big enough hill I'm, I'm up high enough that if I dig down and come through uh, I, I should end out on the side of the hill there um, now the escape shaft is going to probably be uh, well come to think of it I might want to have if the river is over that way I might want to have the the door in and out of here there and then I will have the escape shaft underneath that way anything that uh, does come in this way won't fall down onto the the ceiling of the escape tunnel because that's going to be halfway down the wall and uh, I don't want things getting on there and tearing that up but I've had no incidences so far of anything getting in. I had a wave come from over there. Nothing too terribly 
uh, huge to deal with, but if they do come in, worst case scenario, I can just block this up with dirt and uh, be able to defend from there. And if I do manage to die, my spawn point is over there, so I should be fine. But anyway, I just wanted to let you know about the supplies. I'm going to get back to digging and fighting off zombies as they appear. It's kind of quiet right now. I cleared out the area a bit. Uh, but uh, I will talk to you in just a bit. All right, it has become evident to me that I need to actually barricade some of this. So what I've done is all the way around the outside of this pit, oh dear, uh, I have put a too tall stack of dirt. And then on top of that, I'm going to put some of that rebar. I missed. Ah, oh, really? Eh, come on. Oh, I hit the tree. Alright, there's one. Oh, I thought you were going to keep going. Eh. Come on. Ha ha! Anyway, uh, on top of the dirt, I'm going to be putting that rebar that I got. That way, they can't just hop up on top of the dirt. Um, yay, now I stink. The reason why I'm not just making the wall out of the rebar, all, like entirely, is because uh, the zombies will just outright climb the rebar, which is unfortunate, but that's the mechanic. Um, I think at the right angle you can also climb it. Uh, you should be able to. Let me put this in here. Go ahead and offload that. What I mean by that is if I come over here, this isn't even rebar, but it's too tall, and if I approach it just the right way and jump, I can just end up on top of it. Now, it doesn't work that way if it's three tall, so what I'm going to do is make the dirt too tall like it is and then cover it with one additional layer of rebar. That way, I don't have to play tower defense all the time. I, I don't enjoy that all that much. So, I'm going to avoid it, if I can. So, the end result is going to be rebar all the way around the top. And this is just a temporary measure. Uh, once the pit is done, everything will just be able to fall in. Now, unfortunately, these spikes, uh, or, or wood points or whatever they're called, don't seem to obey gravity. And that means that if I want them back, I can't just hit E and pick them up like these things. Uh, I will have to dig them all individually with my axe. Now, I'll get them back, so that's beneficial, but that is going to probably take a lot of time and a fair amount of resources, too, uh, because the durability on the fire axe is certainly not going to withstand being able to chop all these in one go. So I'm going to have to definitely go on a metal finding spree, uh, especially before I get down into the stone level, because if, once you get down in the... Uh, underground while you're digging uh, you start encountering nodes of different ores including iron and it's a lot more beneficial to just dig for iron than it is to scavenge for iron scraps everywhere uh, but until you can get to the point where you are digging you do have to scavenge so hopefully these measures here will prevent most things from coming in and I can just uh, guard this area here and if 
they do start breaking down the dirt. And no biggie, it's dirt. I can just replace it. But hopefully this will make my life a little bit simpler. But in the meantime, might as well show you the progress down here. Get rid of that little square. I have gone all the way around on the outside of the, uh, the pit. And now I'm just going to reverse fill in. I'm going to clear out, there we go, all of the extra stuff for the three outermost rows. And then after that, it's downward I go. So just wanted to give you an update about what's going on. I'm going to get back to work and I will be right back. Well, that was a little bit of fun. There's a drove heading off in that direction. They spawned over the hill here and I could hear them and they started, a couple of them started wailing away on the wall over here. They didn't get up and over. Ooh, weird lag spike. Uh, they didn't get up and over. They didn't break through, so everything's intact. But I, I didn't want them to actually get in because I was literally working right down there. And that would have been a horrible hole for them to be able to see me from. They couldn't really see me. And I wasn't really sensed until I popped out. So the wall works. It's just I didn't want them to break in while I was right over there. But... I survived, my house survived, everything is good, back to work. Alright, there is something that I wanted to mention it, with regards to doing uh, digging projects like I'm doing for, for like pits and whatnot. I don't know if this is ever going to be fixed in the future, but it is something you have to watch out for. If I make a structure out of these voxel blocks, the, the dirt, the stone, the gravel, things that you can place in the world, like this, which are not square or cube or whatever. Let me go ahead and make this, I don't know, five tall. That should do it for this demonstration. Woo. Weird bit of clipping through there. Don't know what causes that. That's not the glitch that I wanted to demonstrate. What I want to show you involves the corners. And yes, now I have an unsightly mound. All right. By no means should you be able to climb on this is just a pillar of dirt. However, these edges here, uh, the, these are the cardinal directions, northeast, southwest, the big flat parts. But the corners have this little divot cut out in them. And if you jump at them just the right way, you can literally climb infinitely high, well, indefinitely high, up, up to the world height. And uh, if you're not careful, like for instance, if you are down inside your pit and you've got one of these as your interior wall, and you come around a corner and you clip that just right, you can fly up and then fall right back down to your squishy death. So keep that in mind. If you are going to do something like this, I recommend this one trick. Every so often, as you are uh, doing your, your project, um, put some sort of block. Uh, well, actually, I can just use dirt. Like so. Whoops. To prevent you from actually flying up the corner. Because like this, you've got something above your head and it will keep you from getting up. Now, also, the zombies 
are susceptible to being able to climb up those corners. Which is another reason why you want to put some sort of lip or or some square block along the corner so so the uh, zombies don't actually uh, get into your little domicile. So it's a neat trick and you can use it as a, I guess a, uh, for now anyway, a temporary means of escape if you get stuck in a hole or something. Uh, or if you're working on a project like mine, you need to get out real quick. But it is a little finicky. You have to hit it just right, and if you aren't careful, you will fall to your death. But anyway, I'm going to get back to work again. Nothing has spawned for a while. I'm very thankful. No hordes, no waves, nothing like that. So I'm relatively alone. But uh, that, that can change in an instant, because I don't know what the spawn rate is, what the, the times for the waves and all that kind of stuff. Anyway, I'm going to get back to work. I just wanted to show you that little corner clipping thing. And I will be right back. One other nice tip uh, that will come in handy later on. When you're digging, if you hold down the button, you will continuously dig. And as you do this, your stamina will deteriorate. You can see in the the dark blue and or uh, at the bottom right of the mini map if i just hold the mouse button down the amount of blue diminishes and once it gets down below a certain point uh it will affect how well you can use your tools uh so once it drops below 60 uh, 60 percent on the damage which uh, let's see here you can see right there next to the condition of the shovel once the percentage here gets down below 60 so 59 and below it starts taking more hits to do uh, something with the tool so a way around that is to just dig once every few moments and this does two things. One, makes it so the durability, or, or rather your, your stamina, uh, lasts longer. Uh, it doesn't affect the durability of the tool at all. But another thing that it does is it gives you an opportunity while you're doing a, a digging project like this to listen to your surroundings between digs. But I'm going to go ahead and show you what it looks like when I get down to 50-something percent. Hopefully I won't get assailed while I'm down here. So, right now it takes three digs in order to dig out one of these dirt. Or, and uh, I think it's two for gravel, uh, probably three for snow dirt. Actually, I don't know. I think it's three. But you can... You can see the percentage going down. Now it's 85%. And I hear zombies everywhere. Now it's getting down to 70s. Now we're in the 60s, approaching the danger zone. You can see my stamina is almost completely spent now. And now I'm in the 50s. That dirt took four. One, two, oh wait. One, two, three, four. And you also sigh when your stamina completely runs out. Uh, the reason why that didn't take four is because apparently that block already had some damage on it. But anyway... Uh, instead, if you just take a pause, you can see the percentage continuing to rise, and you can hear in your environment a little bit better. Uh, that way you know, like for instance, that there's a horde of shuffling feet coming. But anyway, uh, I just want to demonstrate that real quick. I'm going to get back to work. I'll be back. 
All right, I think I made a good bit of progress today. Uh, I have cleared everything down to where it starts becoming stone. That's what this whiter color material is here. Uh, dug out all the dirt all the way around. And I think the way I'm going to work this is as I go down, I'm just going to continue uh, cutting this little tunnel over this way. And then probably before I get too far down, I'm right here. I'm going to have uh, a place where the ladders are going to go so I can get down by way of ladder uh, instead of having to climb a ramp every time. But for right now, the ramp will work just fine. Um, just had to do a little bit of jumping to get in to, or to get out of it, to get into the complex. Um, I need to take that down. That's unsightly. Anyway, uh, the brunt of the work that I wanted to get done today is accomplished. I hear a horde coming. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap up. Ooh, that's a good old horde. Uh, thank you very much for watching. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, please feel free to leave a message in the comments section below. I will do my best to get back to you as quick as I can. If you like this video and you like what I'm doing here, please feel free to give a like. I do appreciate that. And if you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe so you know when my future stuff comes out. I'm going to wrap up here. Thank you once again for watching. This is Thorn of Night, and I will talk to you later.